you've joined this club. You joined Montpellier barely three three weeks ago or a month ago, and you already have three goals in three games. What a start! Uh, I think for any striker that would be a dream start. I'm grateful to God for the grace and also that I'm playing in a team that can create chances and help me to score goals. That's a big thing for me. Did you expect it to be this quick? I think I'm coming from a good run in Norway and the thing about goals is they give you confidence. But I prayed and trusted God and also I believed that I would have a good start wherever I'm going. And it just panned out that it happened in the first game, so I didn't have to wait very long. Amazing. Um, so how are you settling into life here in Montpellier? I think it's been good. The weather is relatable. I'm Nigerian, it's very hot. So I can relate to that. Even though some days it's almost 40 degrees. And the people are really warm. People in the south of France are welcoming and uh, the club is uh, good. The reception and everything has been very good, so I'm settling very fine. John Otaka made a name for himself here in Montpellier because he helped them to win the French League and qualify, helped them to qualify for the Champions League. How much has Otaka's success helped you here since you joined this club? I think it's good to come into a place where someone has treaded the path. And he has laid a very good foundation for not just me, but African players coming to the club. And of course, I'm not working in his shoes, but like I said, he's treaded the path. We just have to take clues from him and do even more than what he's done. He's really respected, not just in the club, in the city. It means a lot to them and uh, he's a very good man, like everybody testifies about him. I've met him also and he's helped me with uh, a lot of things, settling in. So for me, it's a good thing to know that someone has done it before me and I can just uh, do even better. Your turn. Thank you, Izzy. I'm ready. Ali Lafayette. You came from Norway, now you are in France. What, what would you say is, is the difference in terms of the quality of football? I think uh, you cannot compare Elite Syrian and Ligon. Ligon is one of the best leagues in the world with other top European leagues and uh, top players, uh, bigger franchises. And it's more than, of course, Norway is good. I would not say it's not. But compared to France, I think France is a bigger league and more competitive. You left Nigeria in 2018 for Norway and um, as a, at a very young age. How was that like for you? I think it was a big shift knowing that you live in a, not just a, a state, an entire country or a continent to somewhere new. And all you have is just your agent and football. I think that was a very big shift for me, but I already learned leaving everything aside when I left home. So the impact was not so much until I had already settled. But when I went, I was just all about getting what I came for and nothing else. Um, tell us about how you got scouted, you know, while playing in Nigeria, the, the story. Uh, I think uh, if I can remember clearly, it was uh, on a Friday. I played for Jamba Academy in Kaduna and uh, we got a late invitation to the scouting of my agent at Aneke. And uh, we played a, a game, trial game like they do in Nigeria a lot. And I got selected on the last day and it was not the best games I've played, but I had uh, some good shooting practice. And of course, mixed with God's grace, a lot of God's grace. And I got scouted and the journey started from there. Fantastic. Um, I mean, for many African players, football is like the, the savior. Does that also, is that what de describes you as well? Yeah, I'm from a very modest family. 
we're not the richest and we're not the absolute poorest but there's so much i cannot say here but i just know that uh god through football has uh not just helped my own life it has helped my family my friends uh, people around me my even people that are not so much related to me and like i have told you before it's beyond just um the physical things that it comes with it also comes with hope for people around you and truly football has also helped my own life as a person to like uh avoid some vices which is normal for young people i cannot be at the club by whatever time i cannot do this i cannot do that just because i want to be successful in football i cannot chase everything uh you understand so <laughs> I think uh, right from early, football has separated me from a lot of those things. And even as a person, it has helped me to be focused. It helps me to be more focused. So football, in many ways, have helped me beyond just what people see. What, what does it mean to be a player playing in Europe, earning this pay? Does that somehow distort the idea of success in, in the head of, of, of a footballer? When you look at your mates, who are still in the trenches as we say i think first for me to be honest it humbles me to know that this was where i was and this is where i am to be honest with you it humbles me because i have a friend who works harder than me he's if they put us side by side i think he would get the number nine jersey and i'll get 25 or something he will forget the first team jersey so to be here it's first a privilege not anything I've done, which of course I work hard. It's God's privilege. And, uh, but the thing about success is it can be deceptive in the sense that uh, your light years ahead because God gave you the privilege does not mean you're better than those people who are back there. And what you do with success is more important than being successful in itself. So that's why I say for me, the definition of success is impact. You're not great if great men are not coming out of you. Very true. Tell us about the, the, the story in Norway. Did you go to Norway and you got a contract and everything started to go smoothly? Mm, no, I think uh, there was a, there was a, there was a uh, glimpse of success because I won the Junior Cup for five months after I came. And then after that, you have to... The thing is, you cannot skip process no matter how good or how quick you want to get it done. There are some things I needed to learn, which I did along the way. There are some mistakes I needed to make to correct because there is no practice on the stage, only performance. And I think no way for me was practice, was practice. There are some things I would not be excused at this level, but I would be in no way. So I, it was a bumpy road injuries and adaptation and getting into the system learning what is and what is not um learning the game which i needed to as a striker and uh learning how to score which is also very important uh team coordination all of these things happened through those years because i was thinking oh boy if i was they come knowing like this six months i don't jack back it's good to think that if it happens for you glory to God, but I think I had to go through the process to be where I am today.